Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to use layers in AutoCAD and for that I will be using this floor plan. So, I will open the Layer Properties Manager clicking in this icon over there or typing layer with my keyboard. Ok, if you look in this list here I have separated in layers different categories of objects. For example, I create a layer called Doors for the doors I have in this drawing. The layer windows is obviously for the windows and so on for the others. Now I'm going to show you how to edit layers. In each layer line there are a few options that I can change. I'm going to start with the color. For example I will click in the color of the layer dimensions and I will change it from orange to green. I recommend you to use light colors if you are working in a dark workspace like mine. But now you may think if I use light colors and I want to print in a white paper, they might be difficult to see, as you see here in the paper space. In fact, this is not a problem, because I can set up a different color for this viewport. It's here in this column. So I want this yellow a bit darker in my paper. Another important thing is that any layer that is in white in the model space will automatically be black on my paper. Aside from the colors, I can change the line type clicking here. Now if I go to load, I can see all these options. For example, I will choose this type. Now I select it again here and click OK. Now it looks like that the line type hasn't changed. Only if we zoom a lot we can see it. However, if we switch to the layout tab, we are able to see the dash line properly. So it will be like this if you print. To change the line weight, I click here and I can choose the size that I want. I select this of 1mm for example and click OK. Now you may notice that nothing has changed in the drawing, because by default all the lines are displayed with the same size as it's easier to work. However, if you click in this icon, you can display on the screen all the line weights. Now I'm going to show you how to insert a new layer. I will right click anywhere in this box and then click on new layer. After I type the name for the layer, for example line. Now I can edit the layer as I want, for example I will change the color to red. Now if I want I can edit a layer as I did before. Now I'm going to draw in a specific layer. If you look here you can see this tick in the layer dimensions. This means that this layer is currently selected. So if I draw for example a line now, it will be in the layer dimensions, as you see that it's in orange. Also this tab shows the layer that is currently active. If I want to move an object to another layer, it's simple. First I have to select my object, then I click in this tab and choose the layer that I want to move to and I choose line, here it is, and also in red color. In this part I will show you how to turn off a layer. It's simple, you may see these lights here. If I click in one of them, I switch up the layer, I show you for the doors. Now imagine that I want to switch off all the layers except the layer doors for example. To do that I double click in doors to activate it. Now I click on select all but current. I click in the light of one of the selected and all of them switch off. This is great if we need to select all the objects of a specific layer. Another thing, I can also click on the sun next to the light. This freezes the layer and apparently it does exactly the same as turning it off, but the difference is, with freeze, it's like deleting the layer temporarily. This is useful for complex drawings with dozens of layers, that, if I freeze a bunch of them, AutoCAD may use less memory. So this is all in this video, if you have enjoyed it, you can subscribe the channel to have access to the complete course of tutorials for beginners, and you will also get notified of new videos. So thank you very much for watching and see you next video.